Ah, Serbia, a country filled with history and controversial topics. The exporter of the most raspberry in the world and the place of origin of the word vampire. So the beginning of Serbian history usually starts in the 7th century, with the first wave of Serbs coming in 628 to 658 to the Balkans. Now the most popular uh, and proven theory of why they came was the instabilities of the Avar Khaganate and the creation of Samos Kingdom, rebelling against them. So after the immigration of the Serbs, there was a period where Serbia had its first dynasty, named the Vlastimirovic dynasty, named after its supposed founder Vlastimirovic. Now the actual founder we don't know. The oldest ruler in Serbian history that is recorded is Vyacheslav of Serbia. Now, the Vlastimirovic dynasty didn't have a king or an emperor as a ruler, but something named Arkhon. Now, the final ruler of the Vlastimirovic dynasty was Traslav, who died in 960, ending the dynasty. The capital at this time was Ras or Rash. That's why sometimes this period is called Rashka Serbia. Now after the death of Chaslav, Serbia was divided into a lot of provinces is that fought for supremacy. Now the successors of the Vlastimirovic dynasty were the Vojslavljevic dynasty, which were founded in 1034 by Stefan Vojslav and ended in 11, 1186 by the fire ruler being Mikhail III of Dukla. Now, it was succeeded by the most famous dynasty in the Middle Ages in Serbia, the Nemanjic dynasty. The founder of this dynasty was Stefan Nemanja, who was part of the Vukovic dynasty before this. After Stefan, all of the other monarchs of the Nemanjic dynasty gave, them per gave themselves personal name of Stefan. The successor of Stefan Nemanja was crowned king in 1217 marking the first king uh, first king in Serbian history and with the creation of the Serbian church the one of the most notable monarchs in the Nemanjic dynasty also was Stefan Dusan which was proclaimed emperor of the Serbs and Greeks in 1345 now his uh, his successor Uroš the Weak uh, died childless, which meant that the f empire fell into decline. The last dynasty in Serbia in the Middle Ages was the Brakovic dynasty, which fell in uh, which uh, fell in 1459 when the Ottomans captured its last bastion, Smederevo. About 400 years later of Ottoman rule, in 1804 there was a revolution against Ottoman rule in Belgrade, which was commanded by Karadjorje Petrovic, or Black George as it's called in English. The revolution was uh, started in 1804 and ended in 1813. This was the first Serbian revolution but it failed. Now the second Serbian revolution started in 1815 and ended in 1817 and it was spearheaded by Miloš Obrenović or Teodorović. From, uh, from there Miloš took the title of Knez, Knez or Prince in Serbian. Uh, after the peace in 1817, the Ottoman Empire gave Serbia autonomy. The Obrenovic dynasty started with Miloš Obrenovic, and the dynasty had a knack for being authoritarian, especially Miloš himself. But the dynasty was ended in 1903 when the current king, Mil Aleksandar Obrenovic, were, was forcefully dethroned by the people. E yeah, go get him, Dwight. And after that, uh, Karajo the Karadjojevic dynasty was, was restored with Peter I Karadjojevic, 
1812, Serbia participated in the First Balkan War against Ottoman hegemony in the Balkans. With it was Montenegro, Bulgaria and Greece, together known as the Balkan League. In the First Balkan War started in 1912 and ended in 1913 with the Peace Treaty of London. Now, after the war, Bulgaria wasn't satisfied, satisfied with its gains, in Macedonia particularly, and wanted to get all of Macedonia, which Serbia had most of it, and Bulgaria politely asked, but was denied. This instigated the Second uh, Balkan War, which was a war primarily against the Bulgarians. Now, Serbia called upon its allies Montenegro and Greece to fight off the Bulgarians. But little, little, little that the Bulgarians know... <laughs> They will be attacked from the north by the Romanians because they wanted some land that Bulgaria declined to give, the Ruja specifically. With this, Romania joined the war against the uh, Bulgarians. Seeing uh, weakness, the Ottomans cashed upon the opportunity and attacked Bulgaria as well, grabbing the land and taking Edirne specifically. The Second Balkan War was ended in 1913 and the peace treaties were pre peace treaty uh, lo uh, me meant that Bulgaria lost a lot of its la land and the Ottomans actually gained a little bit of land in the Balkans. Serbia in the First World War didn't fare so good. Lost almost 16% of its population and its land was taken by the double offensive of Bulgaria and, Germ and the German army commanded by August von Mackensen. But after the war, Serbia in the 1st of December proclaimed the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes. After the war, the Kingdom later was called the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. Now, during the Second World War, Yugoslavia was was surrounded by Axis members on all sides. It was forced into joining the Axis in March of 20, uh, March 25th, 1941, which was signed in Vienna. But there was a large-scale revolution against this treaty. So, seeing the instability, Hitler invaded. Uh, to restore order in in the 6th of April 1941 and it's uh, and in just 11 days all of Yugoslavia fell and there was a resistance war against Nazi rule by two parties the the partisans and the Czech uh, Chetniks and the end of the war at the end of the war, the partisans were the clear winners, and as president appointed jo Josip Broz Tito, which led the partisans during the war against Nazi rule. During the Cold War, Tito distances himself from the USSR and creates a new movement dur during it, the Non-Aligned Movement. It was established in 19 in 1961 in Belgrade by uh, three th main states Yugoslavia, India and Egypt. Now with the death of Tito in, 18, uh, in 1980 the country fell into decline and with the fall of the USSR Slovenia, uh, Slovenia left Yugoslavia pretty peacefully if you include tanks coming into the country and saying please please reconsider your stance on this nonetheless then Croatia thought of uh, getting out of Yugoslavia but Serbia wasn't so letting this time and fought a war to save the Serbs living in Croatia 
Macedon Macedonia peacefully left it without any controversy. But the most brutal part of the war was in Bosnia. The atrocities in Bosnia still linger today, like the town of Srebrenica. 8,000 Bo Bosniaks were killed by Ratko Mladic and his army. After the end of the uh, war in 2001, Serbia changed its name to the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia and later to the Serbian and Montenegrin Union. In 2006, Montenegro left the Union and in 2008, Kosovo proclaimed its independence. But at this time, half of the countries in the world don't recognize it.